Hello, Central Christian College. My name is Justin Moore, and I'm the Director of Spiritual Formation and Experiential Learning. I'd like to welcome you to this vlog, as this is our second video in this series where we follow along with the spiritual formation process here at CCC. Today is the beginning of a new series called New You. We're going to start, well, at the beginning, at the birth of Jesus. So right here before Christmas, as we celebrate his birth, we begin our new series, New You. Now in this series, New You, we'll be looking at the book of James. And in the book of James, it's kind of a, it's a book in the New Testament that talks a lot about faith in action. What our faith looks like lived out. It looks at why we do what we do. It could be like a Mountain Dew series called Do the Do. And in this New You series, we look at how this faith in Jesus, this, this trust we have in Him, begins to transform and change our lives. And, and He is the one that changes us and we become new. Well, this Christmas we really see the biggest part of this story because we see from the beginning God loved us. He, he made us to be in relationship with Him. That's why we exist. But then sin messed up that relationship. Sin, sin destroyed that relationship. But from the very beginning, God said that he would send a Messiah, a Savior. What I want to do is look at one of the common, often read stories at Christmas. And it's from Luke chapter 2. And it tells of the birth of Jesus. And this is what the angels declare right here. And I want to notice two main things that these angels declare in Luke chapter 2. It says, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today, in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. Notice those two words that really stick out in there? That born for us today is a Savior? You see, God understands that there's, there's death and that there's pain. In fact, there's, a, there's kind of a saying that is, there's two things that we're all guaranteed in life, taxes and death. Well, I can't help you with the taxes, but with death, God, God saw, God sees what happens because of the results of sin, because of rebellion against how God made us. And it's because of this that he sent his son. He sent a savior. That's why Jesus came, because we need a savior. God has taken care of that. And then also the angels declare that he is the Messiah. Last week, Pastor Chris already said Jesus means, the name Jesus means, save us. And this week we see that he's Jesus the Christ. You see, they were waiting. We People, humanity had been waiting on God to send the Messiah, the long-awaited one, the one that would come and take care of exactly the stuff that we just discussed. And here he is. He's Jesus the Savior. He's Jesus the Messiah. He is the long-awaited one. So this Christmas, as you gather together with friends and relatives, or maybe you spend Christmas on your own, this is a great time to reflect, to think about how much God loves us, how much God cares for us. I encourage you to celebrate this Christmas, to celebrate what God has already done and what God is doing and what he will do in the future. If you're a student here at Central Christian College, we're here to serve you wherever we can. And we would love to talk or pray. So if you would love to talk or pray, at the end of this video you will see contact information for Pastor Chris Smith and for myself. And from all of Central Christian College, Merry Christmas.